Before you make the conversion to Perfect Mind 3, there's a couple of areas in the program that you should check before you go ahead and authorize us to upgrade your system. One of the areas is in Settings. And once in Settings, go to Martial Arts here in the bottom left corner under Apps. Now, if you have more than one program, in this case we have Aikido and we have Shotokan Karate, these are two different programs, and each of these programs have their own set of ranks. So when I look at my ranks, I can see that my karate program, my ranks are ordered 1, 2, 3, and so on, up until number 14. My Aikido ranks have a unique set of order numbers. So you can see it goes 201, 202, 203, so on and so forth. So it's a unique ordering number system. This is something that you're going to want to make sure that you have before you go ahead with the upgrade. If you find that you have multiple programs and each of those programs have uh, ranks that are numbered 1 through, say, 10, or 1 through 15, 1 through 7, but nonetheless they start at 1 or they share the same sequence of order numbers, you're going to want to make them unique between your programs. So it's really just a matter of being able to click on the rank and then you could edit the number and you could change it and you'll have to do that for all your ranks. Now if your ranks all have the same name so you're not able to decipher what program they are you can actually add program name as a column to this view and there is a way to do that. You can do that in the smart client version of Perfect Mind which can be launched from the login page if you haven't used it before uh, you can click Launch Now and it just needs to install. It does require Windows in order to run it. So you can check the minimum system requirements right here. Then once logged in, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, click Plus tab and go to All Objects. And you can skip over to the R's and then select Ranks. and then all you have to do is click on the view here and then click edit beside the all view just click add column then click on ranks at the top of the list this will show you related objects and the only one is program click on program and then name and save Now, when that's done, and I return back to setup here, and I refresh, my program name will be included here in the view. So it might make it a little easier when you're needing to update any of these order numbers, if you have to. So you can see my Aikido program has a unique set, 201 through 207, and it's very important that these are in order. Make sure your sequencing is correct. And my karate program goes one through 14. So that is ready. And the reason that you, uh, you need to do this is because in Perfect Mind 3 we have enhanced rank promotion functionality that um, will look for the next rank in any program uh, and this is going to enable you to be able to uh, uh, much more easily promote your students. So the system can automatically prom promote them from one rank to the next after they've, uh, you know, when they're ready to graduate. And one other detail, as a heads up before we convert you, is the membership information section on contacts. In Perfect Mind 3, membership is linked directly to transactions. So in Perfect Mind 3, the only way that you can give a membership to a student is by going through the checkout. You won't be able to simply click edit and just edit this manually to give someone you know, membership information. Uh, you will need to proceed through the checkout. So all memberships have to be sold through here. So clicking on a membership, clicking buy now, and then selling it to the appropriate student. So that's something that you should know before you upgrade. And also, uh, because of how membership is linked directly to transaction in Perfect Mind 3, um, if you have edited 
any membership information here manually without a transaction being created. So you never actually, you know, you never went through the checkout and you sold it to them. You just updated it here. Their membership info will not be on their page after the conversion. There will be a, re a report though called upgrade results that will be in the reports folder and there'll be a folder here called applications with uh, that will contain the report and it will give a list of students and that you may that, that may require your attention and there will be a way to give them a membership automatically with the click of a button from that report and that's something that we will cover in the post upgrade video please make sure that you watch that as well after we convert you to perfect mind 3